And so, uh, you know, I think it's a, lo a little bit longer game. We're taking all the steps to do it right to make sure we're positioned to have a full portfolio of vehicles and win. And, and we have said that, you know, by mid-decade, we will be selling more EVs in this country than anyone else. President Donald Trump has just dropped a bombshell on General Motors, and it's shaking up the entire automotive world. You won't believe what he did this time. It's like he's operating on a whole other level. This is the kind of high-stakes drama that has the entire country on the edge of its seat, wondering what's going to happen next. So what exactly did he do? And most importantly, what will be the long-term impact on American jobs? The tariff tsunami. The automotive industry was thrown into disarray when Donald Trump made an unexpected and bold announcement, a prohibitive 200% tariff on all imports from General Motors. This wasn't just any political maneuver. It was akin to an earthquake, leaving both industry insiders and the general public reeling. The announcement shot through news outlets and ignited social media, sparking intense debate about its potential ramifications. Politicians, industry analysts, and ordinary citizens lined up on every side of the issue, expressing views that ranged from enthusiastic approval to outright dismay. For decades, General Motors has been a cornerstone of American industry, building a reputation on the bedrock of innovation and resilience. Trump's action against this iconic car manufacturer seemed almost unthinkable, prompting deep questions about the motivations behind such a drastic step. Was it driven by grievances over job outsourcing, a strategic play in his larger economic agenda, or a move spurred by shifting political winds? For GM, the announcement necessitated an immediate scramble to assess their position and weigh the ramifications of a potentially tumultuous period ahead. The stakes couldn't be higher. As news of the tariffs made its rounds, consumers, industry experts, and market analysts waited with bated breath, eager to make sense of the drama that was poised to unfold in the auto sector and beyond. Trump's motives. To truly grasp Trump's decision, it is crucial to delve into the series of events leading up to it. Over recent years, the Trump administration's relationship with major corporations, including automakers like GM, has been characterized by simmering tensions. The president frequently criticized companies for offshoring jobs, particularly to countries like Mexico, thus undermining the goal of restoring industrial sovereignty to America. While GM has long maintained a strong presence stateside, its decisions to relocate manufacturing operations operations south of the border were seen as transgressions in the eyes of Trump's economic vision. The America First agenda set by Trump is rooted deeply in fostering domestic production, bolstering job creation, and maintaining a vibrant national economy. This stood in contrast to GM's global business strategies, aimed at optimizing costs and ensuring competitive pricing across international markets. The collision of these two visions set the stage for a dramatic and inevitable showdown. Furthermore, Trump's personal brand thrives on making bold, headline-grabbing gestures, often rallying his base by taking decisive actions against entities perceived as enemies of American industry. The move against GM can be viewed as part of his economic playbook, a strategy designed to recalibrate the dynamics of trade and challenge the established global order. The audacity of the tariff decision leads to serious contemplation about the risks Trump is willing to bear. Would imposing such strict penalties on GM genuinely prompt a reversal in offshoring trends, promoting more manufacturing on American soil? Or was this a strategic warning shot signaling to corporations that aligning with short-term profits over national loyalty might carry grave consequences? GM's market response. As the dust settled and the shock waves of Trump's announcement reverberated, financial markets reacted with their characteristic volatility. General Motors' stock took an immediate and noticeable hit, reflecting investor anxiety about the company's uncertain future. With the specter of tariffs threatening to inflate costs drastically, a cloud of doubt loomed over GM's ability to sustain profitability, a notion that was not lost on stakeholders and market participants at large. In the tumult of financial speculation, analysts quickly emerged with varying assessments. On one hand, some argued that GM was well prepared to weather this storm, supported by a diversified market presence and an astute leadership team at its helm. On the other hand, skeptics warned of the potential knock-on effects, eroding consumer confidence, diminishing sales prospects, and loss of market share as the company grappled with newfound challenges. The anticipated repercussion was that GM, whose ambitious growth plans in electric vehicles and global expansion were now hanging in the balance would need to reassess and recalibrate its strategies moving forward. The uncertainty surrounding the future profitability of GM cast a long shadow as it stirred caution across boardrooms and sowed seeds of doubt among potential business partners. 
Beyond the confines of GM's walls, business leaders across industry sectors paid close attention, keen to understand what implications this might have on their own enterprises. If GM, a definitive stalwart of the automotive industry, could be targeted so explicitly, it prompted the question, was any company truly safe from the unpredictable political and economic currents that could reshape the future landscape of business? Consumer reactions. For consumers, Trump's announcement triggered a surging wave of mixed emotions. GM has long been cherished for its diverse array of vehicles, ranging from economical sedans to formidable trucks, earning it a loyal following across the United States. To many, GM is synonymous with reliability, innovation, and a tangible piece of American heritage. However, the specter of tariffs now threatened to alter this relationship dramatically. As the word of the tariff spread, fears of escalating vehicle prices loomed large over the public consciousness. Concerns abounded that the additional costs borne by GM due to tariffs might trickle down to consumers, leading to deterring price hikes. Such an outcome would likely push consumers to explore more economical alternatives, either from other domestic manufacturers enjoying a reprieve or from foreign competitors well positioned to capitalize on the disruption. Yet, within the consumer base, sentiments were divided. While some voiced their frustrations openly, decrying the potential financial impact on their purchasing decisions, Others stood firmly behind Trump's decision, hopeful that such assertive measures might catalyze a resurgence in American manufacturing jobs and buttress the domestic auto industry. In the fiercely competitive landscape of automotive retail, brand perception is of paramount importance. GM's deftness in handling this crisis through effective communication and adept strategic pivots could significantly influence consumer trust moving forward. Would they manage to navigate the storm, retaining loyalty among their customer base? Or might the controversy provide an opening for competitors to seize the moment, enticing consumers with innovative solutions and appealing price points? The unfolding narrative captured national attention as consumers kept a close eye on developments, eager for clarity and direction. Meanwhile, the broader story hinted at a protracted and consequential battle, its effects resonating far and wide across the industry and impacting every actor involved. Supply Chain Shockwaves the announcement of a 200% tariff on all GM imports has triggered a seismic ripple effect through the intricate web of supply chains that underpin the automotive industry. At the heart of this complexity lies the global integration of suppliers and partners, each contributing unique components and expertise essential to GM's assembly lines. These suppliers, located both domestically and internationally, suddenly found themselves grappling with an uncertain future. For American suppliers primarily serving domestic operations, the immediate concern was whether GM would be forced to scale back production in response to heightened costs, a prospect that jeopardized thousands of jobs and significant economic activity. Meanwhile, foreign suppliers, particularly those in Mexico targeted by the tariff, faced the potential loss of contracts as GM reassessed its procurement strategies. Logistics was no less affected, transportation companies managing the flow of goods across borders scrambled to comprehend the implications. Higher tariffs meant increased costs and delays, potentially compounding inefficiencies throughout the supply chain. In a landscape where just-in-time delivery is crucial, any disruption could lead to significant production bottlenecks. Economic Ramifications The economic implications of Trump's drastic action against GM extended well beyond supply chains, raising alarms about potential consequences for both national and international markets. At home, the automotive industry is a vital component of the American economy, supporting hundreds of thousands of jobs and contributing billions to GDP. Economists warned that significant disruptions could lead to ripple effects, destabilizing both employment and consumer confidence. Consider the potential rise in vehicle prices. Auto dealerships, essential to local economies, faced the prospect of diminishing sales as consumers hesitated or delayed purchasing decisions due to uncertainty and increased costs. The dealer's predicament was compounded by potential layoffs and reductions in investment, intensifying the strain on adjacent industries such as advertising, maintenance, and finance. On a broader scale, the tariff's impact on GM threatened to exacerbate trade tensions. As a bellwether for manufacturing industries, the automotive sector's struggles portended a possible contraction in industrial output, a situation that could weaken economic growth prospects. Could retaliatory tariffs from affected countries lead to further economic ill will, escalate trade disputes, and challenge existing trade agreements? 
Globally, economic interdependence meant that the effects of the tariff could transcend borders. Nations with strong automotive ties to the US watched closely, mindful that the precedent set might influence bilateral trade dynamics. These developments also intersected with ongoing debates over protectionism and global trade policies, spurring governments to consider countermeasures to protect their economic interests. Political fallout. The political fallout from Trump's declaration reverberated through the halls of power, unleashing a whirlwind of debate and strategic recalibration. Key questions arose. How would this action resonate with Trump's voter base? And what ramifications would it have for his administration and the broader political landscape? But initially, the move garnered support from segments of Trump's electorate, who viewed the action as aligning with promises to protect and revitalize American industry. For many, this bold stance reaffirmed commitment to preserving jobs and economic sovereignty, strengthening the narrative of an administration willing to challenge entrenched corporate practices perceived as disloyal. However, the decision also ignited bipartisan scrutiny. Pragmatic lawmakers expressed concern over potential job losses and economic disruptions, fearing that such assertive measures might inadvertently harm key constituencies. The possibility of retaliatory measures from nations economically tied to GM presented a further challenge, complicating geopolitical relationships. Legislative bodies were thrust into the spotlight, tasked with addressing new policy challenges. Would Congress back the administration's hardline stance, or would it consider mechanisms mechanisms to mitigate potential fallout. The need to balance economic interests with political imperatives placed lawmakers in a challenging position. As the political calculus unfolded, the stakes were compounded by upcoming elections. Candidates across the political spectrum found themselves navigating shifting voter sentiments, grappling with how to address the complex interdependencies between trade, jobs, and economic security. This evolving narrative underscored the broader implications for American governance and policy, as strategists recalibrated to align with a rapidly changing reality. The Global Context while Trump's actions reverberated domestically, their impact was equally noted on the global stage, where nations grappled with the far-reaching implications for international trade and economic relations. The automotive sector is inherently international, with companies like GM having established deep-rooted operations and alliances worldwide. As such, the US decision was seen as a critical test of economic diplomacy and geopolitical alliances. Countries with substantial investment in America's auto industry had immediate cause for concern. In particular, Mexico faced a precarious situation. As an integral partner in North American vehicle production, the tariffs threatened to upend economic ties long established under trade agreements. Mexican officials and industry representatives made urgent overtures to U.S. counterparts, underscoring shared interests in maintaining stability and seeking ways to alleviate friction. Similarly, other countries in Asia and Europe with robust automotive sectors reacted to the news by evaluating their positions within global supply chains. Some some saw the potential for an opening to strengthen trade ties with the U.S., while others harbored concerns about how disruptions might alter competitive dynamics. Beyond immediate economic assessments, the announcement fed into broader geopolitical considerations. Many nations viewed these developments as a signal of shifting priorities in U.S. economic policy, leading to strategic recalibration. GM's new game plan in the wake of the political and economic turmoil triggered by Trump's bold tariffs, General Motors found itself at a critical juncture. The company, long regarded as a pillar of the American auto industry, now faced the imperative to formulate a robust response that would safeguard its future amidst unprecedented challenges. Internally, GM's leadership convened to chart a strategic path forward, focusing on mitigating immediate risks while positioning the company for sustained success in a rapidly evolving landscape. Central to this this strategy was the need to evaluate existing operations and supply chains with an eye toward increased resilience. Key discussions revolved around the prospect of reallocating production capabilities. GM explored opportunities to expand manufacturing domestically, aligning with political and economic pressures favoring US-based production. However, such shifts were not without challenges, involving complex considerations around cost, infrastructure, and labor resources. Moreover, GM analyzed the potential for diversifying its market presence, both geographically and in terms of product offerings. Could a renewed focus on emerging markets provide a hedge against volatility in mature economies. Initiatives to strengthen dealership networks, enhance customer engagement, and deliver localized solutions emerged as pivotal elements of GM's redefined roadmap.
The essence of GM's new game plan rested on its ability to balance short-term adaptability with a long-term vision for growth, resilience, and innovation, ambitions crucial to maintaining competitive advantage in a shifting global context. Innovation and adaptation, central to GM's strategy for confronting the challenges at hand, was an unwavering commitment to innovation. As the automaker reeled from the potential disruptions implied by the tariffs, it leaned into its strengths in technological advancement and product development, viewing these as cornerstones for adapting to the changing landscape. The spotlight was firmly on electric vehicles, a sector gaining momentum worldwide. GM accelerated its investments in EV technology, channeling resources into R&D with the goal of solidifying its leadership position in this burgeoning field. The company's commitment to introducing a wide range of EV models underscored an understanding that embracing sustainability would be critical to future success. In parallel, GM explored advances in autonomous driving technology, anticipating shifts in consumer preferences and urban mobility patterns. As self-driving vehicles progressed from concept to reality, GM sought to stake its claim on innovation that married cutting-edge technology with safety and reliability. Beyond product innovation, the company's operational adaptation encompassed an agile approach to production, design, and distribution, enabling swift responses to market dynamics and customer needs. Deploying data analytics and digital platforms offer GM insights into consumer behaviors, informing strategic decisions from product development to marketing. Ultimately, GM's focus on innovation and adaptation mirrored its spirit of resilience. These efforts aimed not only to navigate current challenges, but to transform them into opportunities, ensuring the automaker remained a force in shaping the future of the automotive industry. Leadership and Management with disruption comes the need for decisive leadership. As GM grappled with the fallout of the tariffs, its management team understood that navigating such uncharted waters demanded both continuity and fresh perspectives. Leadership shifts within the company articulated a commitment to confronting challenges head on. The company initiated key changes within its leadership ranks, bolstering teams with experienced executives adept at crisis management and strategic innovation. These appointments reflected a blend of institutional knowledge and innovative thinking, crucial in charting a path that balanced tradition with transformation. A dedicated task force emerged under the leadership of senior executives, tasked with evaluating the company's strategic response at every level. This included strengthening cross-functional collaboration and fostering an organizational culture that empowered teams to articulate and execute bold ideas. Furthermore, GM's management embraced transparent communication as a pillar of its leadership approach. Engaging with shareholders, employees, and consumers ensured trust and understanding, securing the collective resolve to weather the storm. Leadership's vision for the future extended beyond immediate responses, encompassing a broader commitment to social responsibility, diversity, and environmental stewardship. As GM sought to redefine itself amidst challenges, its leaders laid the foundations for enduring transformation that would resonate across the industry. Investors' Perspectives GM's response to unprecedented challenges was closely scrutinized by investors, stakeholders, and financial analysts, all eager to assess how the automaker's strategic pivots would influence its long-term performance and profitability. Within investment circles, diverse sentiments emerged. Some investors, buoyed by GM's history of resilience and innovation, viewed the challenges as an opportunity to strengthen market position, particularly in the rapidly expanding EV sector. This optimism was reflected in GM's commitment to pursuing sustainable technology and building brand loyalty among eco-conscious consumers. Conversely, concerns lingered among investors about potential short-term disruptions to GM's profitability, especially in the face of increased costs and operational realignments. The specter of escalating trade tensions and geopolitical uncertainties contributed to caution, with stakeholders keen to monitor Honda's ability to navigate evolving landscapes. GM's investor relations team played an essential role in maintaining dialogue with the financial community. Transparent disclosure of strategic plans coupled with clear communication of progress milestones aimed to instill confidence and reassure investors of the company's resilience. Ultimately, the sentiments within investment circles underscored the complexity of the situation and the delicate balance GM sought to maintain. The company's efforts to align innovation, resilience, and shareholder interests reflected a comprehensive strategy aimed at securing both short-term stability and long-term growth. The Future of GM 
As General Motors navigates the complexities of the current landscape, understanding and anticipating consumer trends has become paramount. The automotive sector is undergoing rapid transformations, driven by technological advancements and evolving consumer priorities, which are shaping how vehicles are perceived, purchased, and used. A significant trend that's gaining momentum is the increased demand for sustainability. Consumers are now prioritizing environmentally friendly options, pushing automakers to innovate and offer vehicles aligned with these values. GM's push towards electric vehicles reflects this shift, with substantial investments in research and development aimed at expanding its EV lineup. As government policies worldwide press for reduced emissions and greater energy efficiency, consumers are becoming more discerning, looking for vehicles that reduce their carbon footprint while delivering on performance and reliability. Connectivity and in-vehicle technology are also redefining consumer expectations. The desire for seamless integration with digital ecosystems, enhanced safety features, and intelligent driving experiences is driving demand for cars that offer these capabilities as standard. GM is focusing on integrating advanced technology, such as over-the-air updates and sophisticated infotainment systems, to cater to tech-savvy consumers who seek a fusion of functionality and innovation in their automotive choices. Flexibility and mobility solutions is another emerging trend. With urbanization and changing lifestyles, there is a growing interest in ride sharing, car subscription models, and autonomous vehicles. GM is exploring these avenues, recognizing that adaptability and offering mobility as a service could position it as a leader in future transportation solutions. As cities grapple with congestion and environmental challenges, GM's involvement in smart city projects and autonomous vehicle development developments represents a strategic move to establish itself in this evolving ecosystem. This dynamic context demands that GM not only innovates, but also deeply understands consumer aspirations, anticipating emerging needs, and delivering products that resonate with an increasingly discerning audience. Competitive Landscape the disruption facing GM has sent shockwaves through the automotive industry, prompting rival automakers to reevaluate and refine their strategic approaches. In a marketplace characterized by rapid technological change and shifting consumer loyalty, competing for market share requires agility, investment in innovation, and a keen understanding of industry dynamics. Companies such as Ford, Tesla, and others have been quick to recognize and capitalize on opportunities arising from GM's adjustments, accelerating advanced in electric vehicle technology and sustainable solutions, these competitors are keen to strengthen their footholds and capture conscientious consumers. While Tesla maintains its position as a pioneer in electric mobility, Ford is increasing investments in electrification to ensure its legacy models meet future regulatory standards and consumer expectations. International automakers, including Toyota and Volkswagen, are fortifying their positions on the global stage. By leveraging research investments and strategic partnerships, they aim to align with emerging market demands and regulatory landscapes. In some cases, these companies are deepening collaborations with technology firms to drive forward autonomous vehicle initiatives, further intensifying competition across the industry. Collaboration and strategic alliances have also emerged as integral strategies to complement traditional manufacturing capabilities with fresh insights and capabilities. By forging partnerships with key players and technology, technology and logistics, automakers can accelerate innovation and streamline operations. GM's concerted efforts to collaborate with tech companies underline its commitment to adapting to and leading emerging trends in autonomous and connected vehicle technology. In this constantly evolving competitive environment, GM's proactive approach and commitment to innovation, evolution, and collaboration indicate a determination to not only survive but thrive amid industry transformation. Long-term industry changes The automotive industry is poised for profound transformation, with long-term changes destined to reshape its landscape. A series of converging forces are catalyzing an era of upheaval, redefining how vehicles are manufactured, consumed, and integrated into broader societal frameworks. At the forefront of these changes is the electrification revolution as governments worldwide champion reduced emissions and renewable energy. Manufacturers are scaling up efforts toward comprehensive electrification. General Motors' ambitious plans to transition to an all-electric fleet align with broader industry initiatives focused on phasing out internal combustion engines. The shift signifies a turning point where traditional automakers are fully embracing sustainable technology, driven by consumer demand and regulatory pressures.
Simultaneously, advancements in autonomous driving technology are reshaping transportation infrastructures. Cities contemplating advanced urban planning must accommodate new mobility solutions that prioritize efficiency, safety, and accessibility. Autonomous vehicle adoption stands to alter commuter experiences and challenge existing paradigms of transportation and logistics. GM's strategic investments in self-driving technology position it at the forefront of this evolution, contributing meaningfully to shaping the future of mobility infrastructure structure. The emphasis on sustainability extends beyond vehicles to encompass supply chain practices and corporate governance. The circular economy, a system designed to eliminate waste and leverage continual resource use, is becoming an integral part of automotive business models. Automakers are refining processes to optimize resource efficiency, minimize waste, and embed sustainability as a core operating principle. GM's efforts to align operations with these goals underscore its commitment to environmental stewardship and responsible corporate citizenship. But these patterns mark the dawn of a new era for the automotive industry, one characterized by innovation, collaboration, and a dedication to balancing economic growth with environmental and social responsibility. The industry's ability to adapt to these changes will shape its trajectory, influencing how it engages with consumers and contributes to a sustainable future. Rebuilding and moving forward. As the dust settles and the industry evolves, General Motors remains resolute in its mission to rebuild and redefine what success looks like in an age marked by rapid shifts and challenges. This pivotal moment presents an opportunity for the automaker to reinforce its central commitment to excellence, sustainability, and customer satisfaction. A key component of moving forward involves regaining the trust of stakeholders, a goal that requires transparency, accountability, and a relentless focus on delivering tangible results. By openly communicating progress on strategic initiatives and demonstrating achievement, GM aims to restore confidence among consumers, investors, and partners. Beyond corporate restructuring, GM's focus on social responsibility and community engagement has become a defining core of its ethos. Through outreach efforts, support programs, and initiatives that champion diversity and economic development, GM endeavors to create meaningful impact and uphold its responsibilities to the societies in which it operates. By building strong connections within communities, GM reinforces its identity as a business committed to contributing to collective prosperity. As the automotive industry stands at the cross roads of a new chapter, GM's tenacity and adaptability present pathways to overcome challenges and chart a course that balances ambition with resilience. Through strategic vision, purposeful action, and relentless innovation, the company aims not only to navigate complexities, but to lead as a standard bearer in an ever-evolving world. So what do you think about Trump's decision to impose such a steep tariff on GM? We want to hear your thoughts.